Uh, Aaron, it's Michael, Don, and Peter. How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you guys? Doing okay. Um, Aaron, are you concerned at all by the lack of hitting? Now, I know obviously you think they're going to break out of it because the back of their baseball card says they will. But through 13 Mm -hmm. games, averaging three runs a game, are you concerned about that? Well, I'm concerned because you know we we're, we're gonna we got to do better than that. We got to get it going. Um, you know, especially right now when you know I feel like <clears throat> there's a lot of things we're we're doing really well right now. Obviously, pitching well. I feel like our defense has played well. We're running the bases, um, but you know we gotta we gotta start getting it rolling and getting it in gear offensively. Um, and and you know one one of the things has been. You know, we haven't been hitting long ball at a high rate, obviously. I think we only hit a couple on the trip. And when you're not doing that, you've you've got to take advantage of opportunities. And, and we've had a hard time getting that big hit in, in different situations. So it's an area we've got to pick up, but I'm still very confident. Yeah, I mean, you know, I look, I'm look, i looking at the lineup now, you know. Like, you know, I feel like DJ's off to a good start. You know, Aaron Judge, I'm, I feel pretty certain, is going to hit. You know, Giancarlo's going to hit. Donaldson's going to get it going, you know. Riz is off to a pretty good start, so I, I do feel like we'll get there. Um, it's been tough sledding right now, and we gotta we gotta find a way right now when it's tough. Now, uh, just to piggyback on that, so I I don't know if you saw this. Uh, Jeff Passan had a story this week uh, on ESPN yeah. Plus that said that home runs are down all around Major League Baseball, and they're down so yeah. much you can't really think it's going to rebound that much. Does that give you a little pause, Aaron? Because we know this Yankee lineup is built to hit home runs to score runs, and if 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 yeah. the ball is dead or the humidors are doing a, a job to slow it down, does that worry you that you have to change your approach? Um, look, I, I do look, and I've had some conversations with you know with other managers you know about this, and that you know first of all, pitching right now is is really really tough. Um, you know, there's there's definitely I think. You know, not, I think not. I think I know. Obviously, a change in the ball starting last year, um, but you know, I still attribute a lot of it to the start of the season. Teams, guys, pressing a little bit to get rolling. Um, you know, as it heats up, that stuff will improve. Um, I do feel like we have guys that, from a power standpoint, are still built to, you know, hit for power. Um, you know, even, you know, it, it might hit a couple of our guys a little bit more, but I still think a handful of our guys are still going to be premier power guys. But that said, um, I do feel like over time we should be a little more versatile in, in, in how we create some runs, and I do feel like we have a lineup that, that should allow us to do that. Now, with the home runs and trying to hit home runs, Aaron, there are moments where a single can do the job, right? So you look at that bases-loaded yeah. situation with Rizzo grounding out to first and Stanton hit it hard but grounded out the first. Are those situations where you would say, yeah, I'd love a grand slam, that's great, but maybe the approach should just be, hey, just get me a single because if we get a single here, we win the game. Yeah, yeah, and I'd love to have that button over there where I could push the get a single button. (laughs) Um, But from an approach standpoint, Aaron, I guess. that's No, no, I know, but that's the problem right now, Don, where when you look at, you know, say our swing decisions, in runners in scoring position because I feel like especially early in the year when it's oh you guys you know didn't do this with runners in scoring position what happens is hitting's about really controlling your emotions and I feel like sometimes we go chasing that single or we go chasing that result and as a result our swing decisions aren't as strong and that's that's what I'm always worried about especially early while guys are getting their legs and getting settled into the season like I feel like we we want that result so bad. We want to get that hit so bad. And when you, when that happens, you start playing into to pitchers' hands, and that gets you in trouble. And I feel like that has actually happened to us. It's not us going up there trying to hit a home run. It's us wanting to get a hit so bad that you get outside and you and you expand a little bit. And one of our strengths as much or more than any other team is our ability to control the strike zone and that has to happen especially with runners in scoring position now this will shock you aaron but i i am the voice of reason for fans here (laughs) you know people are people are going crazy and i say it's just 13 games i mean everybody has to relax they're one game out of out of first place they're seven and six but then joel sherman wrote a column in the post and said you can think like that. That's one way to think, which is the way I choose to think. Or he said you could look at this as games 163 to games 176 because it's the same story as last year 
where they didn't hit with runners in scoring position, they didn't score a lot of runs. So does that mm-hmm. worry you that this is what the team is? No, no. I feel like we, we, we have a little bit of a different makeup to our team right now. And, and you know, hopefully, you know, assuming and hoping for health, you know, I feel like Kiner Falefa is a, a different kind of player for us and, and somebody that's going to thrive, especially towards the bottom of the order. You know, Josh Donaldson, I feel like, is really going to hit for us if he stays healthy and once we get him rolling. Um, Judge and Stanton and Rizzo, I feel like, are going to be who they are. DJ LeMahieu, I think, is in a way way better place right now than um, you know he probably was at any time last year. So I, I you know, that said, that's it's all just you know we we got to go do it, you know. But but I do feel like uh, you know looking at it optimistically is not is not unrealistic. 